Hello, my name is Frank Christensen and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFAF in Europe. In this training tape, we're going to have a look at the specific type of unsportsmanlike conduct that deals with pulling and pushing off of the pile. Uh, the text of the rule says it has to be forcible and we'll look at how much is enough for it to be forcible and what is simply not enough. But before we get to the game film, let's have a look to see what the rule book and the MOFO have to say on this topic. In the rule book, we go to 921 on sportsmanlike conduct. Specifically prohibited acts and conduct include no player, substitute coach, or other person subject to the rules shall use abusive, threatening, or obscene language or gestures or engage in such acts that provoke ill will or are demeaning to an opponent, to game officials, or to the image of the game, including but not limited to. And here comes the, the one that is relevant for this training tape, which is K. After the ball is dead, using forcible contact to push or pull an opponent off the pile. And that was, uh, that was the book. Now let's have a look at some game film. The operative word here is forcible. What is forcible and, and, and when is it enough or, or too much rather? In these first two examples we'll see a good call. So the tailback here is going to right there pull somebody off. Now it's not the, uh, the worst act ever but it is something that is going to, to cause issues later on. So, so this is something that we would want called and, and you know either wing, probably the wing down here at the bottom, center judge, umpire, uh, referee certainly would have a chance to see this, but this is, this is enough that we, could, that we could use this rule and we should call this. Before we had an offensive player, this time it's a defensive player who's going to, to pull an opponent off the pile. He's coming in here fairly late and right there he starts to grab the leg and it has nothing to do with football at all and it is going to cause uh, animosity and, and, and trouble later on if we don't call it so it's a good call by both the umpire and the referee and, and again it you know it's it's not forcible in the targeting sense of the word but it is because it's it's so unrelated to football and it is a a forceful act and it is something that we want to get rid of and that's why this is a a good call on this play we're looking at the quarterback and and in these this play and the, and the next there just isn't enough for a good call and and this is really the the difference uh, compared to the previous two of the, the first two plays here, number four, he does do a little push there, but it's certainly not forcible in the, in, in, in the sense that we want it uh, for this rule. There is a, a slight little push, but this is this is not enough, and, and this is not what we want to uh, to get out of the game. In this last play, we're looking at a60, the left tackle it's going to happen after the play but he's going to come over there and, and do this little shove and, uh, and it's, it's just not forcible enough now if it had been enough that the, the the red player had landed on his back now we can talk about it being forcible enough but here even though it is a push to get an opponent off a pile um, the judgment has to be that that you know it has to be forcible and, and this is not the case so that was the that was the training tape I hope it, it shows what is enough and what isn't enough and, and I certainly hope you found something you can use on the field